revolution from gas to electric charged cars is now a reality in the US as Ford company unveiled half gas powered and half electric cars in Detroit. And while most major car makers so far up hybrids, few have rushed into electric car business as fast as Ford, which is doing so with support from the US government. Gil Potalation is the company's electrification manager. He says it takes about eight hours to charge the car and that drivers can expect to go 70 to 100 miles on a fuel charge. We'll have a feature available where you can set your destination and with that you can say, is there a place for me to charge there or not? And if there isn't, you can do a round trip back to your home and it'll tell you if you've got the energy to get there. Many of the major automakers are moving towards electric, albeit cautiously. BMW displayed this futuristic electric concept car not far from Audi's electric concept car and Volkswagen also showed off the e-Bugster. Like many other automakers, they are gauging interest, waiting to see if electric cars are an idea whose time has come. Infrastructure is another big thing too, right? You want to charge your vehicle if I'm on the road. But I mean, you're starting to see that a lot of places. So you're starting to see that infrastructure get put into place. So I say about, I don't know, another five years, 10 years down the road. I definitely, I think my kids, they'll definitely be seeing electric vehicles day to day, like it'll be the norm to have an electric vehicle. As others in the U.S. are going the electrical way, Japan has gone the solar way geared up with solar panels and high-tech gizmos. For this former James Bond car, it's a chance to live twice. The car has three cameras facing the rear, which are reflected into the traditional style of a center rear view mirror for ease of driving. But this is funny. Every time a driver pushes the accelerator, the car plays a variety of sound effects, including spaceships, meow cats. <coughs> clucking chickens and horses hooves. While there is currently no plan to mass produce the vehicle, it will race in electric vehicles competition from this summer. Heralded as Japan's first sports car in 1967 and the same model used as James Bond's getaway in the movie You Only Live Twice that year and the car is now 100% solar powered and electric, remodeled and renamed the crazy car project. For Tech Toys, I'm Nicholas Mudimba.